Hey everybody, welcome back to Kitty Speaks. It's Kitty. I am here today with another edition and as promised in an effort to uh, make my channel focused on beauty but also headed towards um, people like me with invisible illnesses, I am doing a video today that is a twofer. This video is about beauty but it is for you. Um, and just to make it clear, even if you don't have invisible illnesses, what I'm about to talk about will be helpful for you too. So, recently I went to Ulta. Not that recently, but I'm just getting around to doing this and I kind of regret it. But I have really been interested in a product called Dermablend. Um, I, in general, don't need very much cover up on my skin except for when I have just gone through a scleroderma outbreak and I have scarring left over. But normally I kind of do microdermabrasion pretty regularly or I used to until Avon stopped selling my product and now I have to find another product. And so um, I really didn't have problems with needing to cover things up. But I was still interested because I felt like sometimes I do not do makeup for pay. Uh, I am a real certified MUA. I do have certification. I did go to school. But because of my illness, I think that it would be kind of complicated if I'm supposed to, you booked me to do your wedding and I can't show up because I'm in the hospital or I can't show up because today is just a bad day and I can't get out of bed. And so I don't want to make that sort of commitment. And so my sort of trade-off is to do this channel so that I can still do something that I really love doing without uh, compromising making commitments to people. Uh, the same reason that I, I cannot work anymore. So I figure I may have somebody that I'm doing their makeup for fun, which is what I do, and I may need this product. So I've been wanting to find out about it, and I went to Ulta, and they, they give you these little sample things. So I got this little sample, and uh, I tried this product on, on this scar. And it's kind of amazing. So I'm going to demonstrate it for you guys. This scarring, if you did not watch this video, is from me having a portacath installed. When you have chronic illnesses for an extended period of time, like like I have been suffering for with my problem for uh, around three decades, it's a really long time. You may run into issues where your veins have a lot of scarring. And so it becomes difficult to do blood draws. It becomes difficult to get IV insertions, which is a regular part of your life. So what this does, this is an implant. And um, it is permanent for me. You can see this little dot right here where it was recently accessed. What it allows is direct access to my veins. There is a catheter that is running, you can see here, and it goes directly, I think, into my heart or the vena catheter or, or something. It, it goes into the biggest vein that you have that's directly to your heart, and so it allows direct access. So they can attach a, a little needle here. It's one stick only, so you don't have to get stuck over and over again. And it allows them to be able to draw blood for testing. Um, but also I can get medication, IV through this. I can get sedation through this. I believe I can also be fed through this. Sometimes I've, I've had uh, have TPN, which is liquid nutrition, and it goes through a pick line. I had a pick line inserted right here. But I think that you can be fed through this as well. I haven't had to have TPN since then, so I'm not exactly sure. But this little thing makes me so happy. Um, I do not have to be stuck dozens of times, potentially, because my veins stop giving blood, period. It's easy to know if a nurse has hit the vein because if there's blood on the tip of the needle, then you know that you've hit the vein, but they would draw back and mine would be completely empty. And so I would always joke, does that mean I'm dead? And it was kind of an icebreaker. It, you know, it, it makes people laugh. But at the same time, I was really concerned. I mean, having a, a nurse go to draw blood and not be able to get blood from you when they know that they've hit the vein is a 
kind of scary thing, or at least it was for me. So this I am very, very happy with, and I've been recommending it recently. If you have been having problems with poor access, it's called a porta calf. Um, mine is made by Bard, I think B A R D, and so um, yes, there is. Um, a chance of infection but there's a chance of infection with anything for us and I personally think that it's worth it so if you're scared or, or if you're on the fence I would say do it it is a very quick outpatient procedure it took less than an hour you know there's no downtime I can shower and do everything regularly it doesn't change your life in any way except to make things easier for you when it comes to needles and phlebotomists and things like that so um, I think that you will be happy that you did if this is a choice that you make so after having said all that I'm going to demonstrate the derma blend for you I'm gonna do it with my I was going to do it with my finger, but I just decided not to at the last possible second. Excuse me. Oh, this is stupid. I'm so sorry. I hope you couldn't see any skin. Okay. It is the most full coverage. So this is the little bit that I have on there. I do not remember what color this is. Please don't kill me. I think I have way too much on this brush. I gotta spread it all around all on my boobs. Sorry. And it's weird because I can feel my port underneath my skin, but I had too much on my brush. So what I'm trying to do now is, is blend away the excess. And afterward, I would say definitely, um, excuse me, definitely set it. This is ELF's High Definition, oops, excuse me, I'm making a big huge mess. This is ELF's High Definition Powder and Sheer, and I would say set it afterwards. I'm not exactly sure if that is the right color, but as you can see, I think I don't have enough on there because I think I can still say that but anyway it this was the most awful demonstration ever because I can still see it and the first time I did this I couldn't and I think that it doesn't help that this is not necessarily my color I was supposed to be demonstrating the amazingness of this product and I just botched it all up. Okay, there you go. There you go. So as you can see, it is basically gone. Except I don't have enough over here now. <laughs> okay, guys. Just trust me when I say that, that you want to try this. Even though I have completely, totally botched up the, uh, the demonstration. Okay, there. Because I can like see the edges and stuff. I'm a perfectionist. Ha! There you go. Gone. <laughs> What you see is the shadow from the actual port itself, which is like a little square. Uh, so that is my messy demonstration. So I would say 
that uh, this is definitely something that you want to try if you have scarring because as you can see you cannot see mine anymore and um, that is my video today that is all that I have for you I thought you would you thought that I was gonna have more because I said twofer but what I meant was that it was beauty and it was health so until next time love you guys love peace and hair grease ciao